Today is all about fairy woods. We've got the Cobra LTD X Max and the LTD X LS versus the new Titleist TSR2 and TSR3. We have the Thomas Campbell here to hit some shots. I've got Danny with me as well to break down some data and tell you guys everything you need to know. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mulhold, joined by Danny Farrell and Thomas Campbell on the driving range today. And uh, we've got Cobra LTDX Fairy Woods and Titleist TSR Fairy Woods. So if you've been following the channel, you've probably seen by now the Titleist TSR driver test versus Cobra LTDX. We've got that up on the channel and we wanted to follow that up with Fairy Woods. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I know we were kind of bombarded, if you will, with comments <laughs> for not including Cobra, at least in the driver portion uh, of those TSR tests. So we did that. Now we got to get the fairy woods. So, uh, Danny, talk to me about these fairy woods, what you've seen from them, um, and maybe the feedback from customers you've been fitting. Sure. Uh, and, you know, just by looking at them, what do you think you see here? Well, I mean, just by looking at it, it's a lot of carbon going into it. Yeah. So we know sound is going to be deadened a little bit or softened for sure. Mm -hmm. um, some players like that deadened sound. Some players like the feedback they get from a different style head or component wise, different materials that the sound may be more amplified. Yep. But, what I have seen is very high launch, especially with the Max. So difference-wise, 15.5, standard loft with that. There is more adjustability through weighting mm -hmm. as well. So standard weights, we've got it in the back or in the heel as well. So a little bit more draw bias yep. per se, or it could be. Uh, but overall, I think a lot of this is gonna come down to how they're gonna spin, spin yep. management, right? That's a big thing following on our channel recently, especially with the TSR line, it's been fantastic on that. Cobra was great in the driver video as well, so I'm interested to see the same test mm -hmm. with the fairway woods. Yeah, yeah, Thomas, talk to me about fairway woods and what you kind of look for from a fairway wood and what you've seen, at least initial testing with the TSR fairway woods. Yeah, I mean, Danny touched on spin a little bit. I'm thinking more gapping. I yeah. mean, the spin's gonna influence that gapping a lot, but right. it, just because a fairway goes really, really far, doesn't mean it's the right fairy wood for you. Mm -hmm. It's got to gap well in your bag. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what differences there are between these four different heads in spin, in distance. There's going to be differences, let's face it. Right. There's no way they're all going to go the exact same distance. Mm -hmm. But then it's going to be for a particular golfer that comes in for a fitting, they'll be able to understand that maybe I fit more into that type of head because that's what I'm looking for. That's the launch profile I'm looking for, mm -hmm. or maybe that's the, the spin or distance that I'm looking for. Right, right. right. That's a good, a good a point there to bring up because it, it, I think there is so much of a chase for distance nowadays in golf with the equipment, but distance is not the only name uh, in the game to, to strive for, right? So um, I think with that said, Thomas, we can start hitting some shots here. We can break down some data and see some, I guess, bombs with some fairy woods here. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Dude. That might hit the Michigan. Actually, wow. it's going to go over it, but wow, it's right on top of it. I'm trying to drive a par four. That's a good ball. Oh, wow. That felt different. That's a different flight. Longest carry of the day. Tumble, baby, tumble. in the clubhouse distance wise. That was probably a tumbler, right? Yep. 288 driver numbers. Not bad for a fade. That's hit well too. Yeah. Blistered. Oh yeah. Oh, he might have done it. Might have saved the best for last. He might have done it. Oh, it's going a little left of it, I think. It's gonna be like up here. Yep. <laughs> right on my finger. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
Uh, so Thomas, a lot of three woods there that were hit. Um, first, give me your thoughts on all four heads, how they felt, how they look. Uh, obviously, there's some pretty clear differences between TSR and the LTDX family there. Yeah, they are quite different. Uh, the uh, LTDX LS, mm -hmm. looking down at it, it looks like it's the smallest head of them all okay. to, look, to look down at. Um, the TSR3 also looks fairly small, but it's a little more rounder. Yeah. Um, well, the, the LS, it just has sharper edges to it, I guess, when I'm looking mm -hmm. down at the two of them. Sure. But, uh, and the other two, um, the uh, LTD Max, mm -hmm. uh, that one looked a little little larger. Yeah. Um, I think it's got a touch more loft on it, so it looked maybe a touch more upright, but that's probably yeah. because it had a half degree more loft on it. Right. Um, while the TSR2 sat like a very, very neutral sit, sure. sit, sat on the ground, pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, and talking on the numbers, we, I, I looked over them briefly and I saw some interesting trends there. Um, it, it, you know, I think the most notable thing for me before we get into the specifics really is that TSR spun more than the others, uh, both. So the, the top two spinning fairy woods were the TSR2 and the TSR3. Mm -hmm. So that's something to note, I think, because we, you know, we talk about spin as you want low spin and high launch kind of a driver. With three wood, it kind of depends on the way you hit the club. Right, right. And I mean, looking over the numbers so far, TSR2 LTDX Max. LTDX Max was the highest lofted club today. Mm -hmm. So you were right. Half a degree more loft, 15.5. A little bit of weight in the heel, a little yep. bit more weight in the back of the club as well. So I would expect that to launch the highest, and it definitely did. Okay, almost a full degree, almost two degrees higher um, launch profile compared LTDX yep. uh, versus the LS. So two degrees higher launch, okay. Um, spin profile wise. Both Cobras were lower spinning than TSR, mm -hmm. which was very interesting. Even the highest loft also, yeah, it still beat TSR in terms of spin, lower profile. But in terms of dispersion, TSR delivered there. Yeah. You know, we were kind of joking seeing the first four shots come out from Thomas and we're like, what if he just throws another dart right about here? I think he pointed on the screen to where you thought it was <laughs> and he delivered right after yeah. that. Yeah. So it was very, very good to see. Um, with more loft, lower ball speed with LTDX Max, TSR2 was right after that, about a mile and a half faster mm -hmm. through loft. Um, and then once we get into the TSR3 and LS, things change a little bit. Our club speed came up slightly but it was consistent with both of those. Ball speed wise, still the king being um, TSR3 in this test. LTDX LS was more consistent on the ball speed retention, Yep. but we were more efficient with the TSR3. Mm -hmm. So again, good showing there. Titles was the most efficient smash factor wise in both heads. Yeah. So Cobra sat at 148, Titles at 149. Um, overall, distance-wise, the longest carry, still TSR3, three yards longer in the air than um, the LS, but the LS made it up on the ground. Yeah. Right, with lower with spin lower rate. Spin. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, the LS went the furthest total distance. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, so Thomas, mean, did you, when you were hitting the shot, did you notice anything in terms of, like, you know, your first impression on launch, maybe your turning, I mean, your the ball flight, like what did you notice between actually hitting the shots, watching the ball flights? Um, I found it easier to turn the, the max, so the LTD max over. Yeah. It mm -hmm. felt like it was just w with the way it was sitting. And I definitely found it very hard with the LTEX the LS, LS yeah. cause that seemed like a little more of a tumbler to the right Yeah. for me. Well, the mm -hmm. other, the tightest fairy woods were just pretty straight. Yeah. It just seemed like. Mm -hmm. Once yeah. again, I, I've always, for some reason, when I've done testing, the, the three with the driver or the three with the fairy wood, mm -hmm. it's been easier for me to hit straight. I don't know what it is. And generally, you'd think you know that the two would, you know, TSR two would be maybe a little bit more draw bias, or but I've always hit the TSR three more comfortably with driver or fairy wood. Yeah, and I think that could be a a, a confidence thing for you with that shape because that's just the shape you're used to and you prefer yep. with your game, but. Um, I mean, we look at the dispersion and he's not kidding. That dispersion <laughs> right. with the TSR3 is pretty darn good. Yeah. I want to bring up one major point, especially for players that tend to hit their fairway woods really high. Yeah. The LTD XLS, dramatically different results. Both in the overall height, it was the lowest today at 85 feet, mm -hmm. where TSR in both of them, two and three, were about 96 to 99 feet. And the LTD X max was the highest at 100. So about 11 feet lower with sure. the LTDX LS. 
and the excuse me the descent angle or landing angle was shallower big time as well wait for this 38 with TSR 2 39 with LTDX max TSR 3 39 34.7 wow. with the LS. So dramatically different ball flight. Yes. So yes. if you get a golfer that swings 10 miles an hour slower than me, right? that's when you're actually probably going to lose distance right. with right. a lower spinning, yeah. a lower It's a give and take there because limited. like you were mentioning the player that does have a lot of speed and maybe hits it really high with three, but there's also right. that player that Thomas is mentioning that would probably lose distance with this club, mm -hmm. even though it was one of the longest ones of this test. Right. For that particular player, they're actually going to lose distance because they're not going to get high enough in the air and hit enough you know, carry on it. And that's, that, right? you know, I think what it comes down to is spin is very important in fairy woods. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have a, a lot of spin, but you need to have enough so that ball can one fly straight, but also fly in a more manageable trajectory, landing angle, yeah. right. stopping, everything like that is really important. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And I think you, you saw that some of like, maybe for you and a couple of those shots, like the LS, for example, might be a little lower spinning than you're like. Uh, where you wouldn't carry it far enough and might roll through the green or through, roll through the fairway, whatever you're trying to accomplish there. Yep. Uh, but I got to say that that dispersion with the TSR3 is just, uh, <laughs> it is. I haven't even seen it yet, but uh, I, I'll take your word for it. It's, it felt pretty good. It's pretty disgusting yeah. is what I <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not, you know, it's not fair that someone can do that. With right. Five swings. The fact that you can point and then he delivers right after yeah, yeah. that, unreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so clearly the Cobra LTDX fairway was pretty darn good today. Yes. Yep. TSR fairway woods from Titleist also pretty darn good. And so uh, golfers know what to do, right? They can get fit at second swing for one of these fairway woods. I know early on the feedback for TSR has been tremendous from the fitters. Of course, the LTDX uh, fairway woods have been awesome performers as well. So get fit for your fairway wood today at second swing, either in store or schedule your fitting with an online fitter. And we'll get you into a new fairway wood that's best for your game and you'll start playing some better golf. So Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots. And Danny, thanks for breaking down the data. Mm -hmm. Great stuff today, gentlemen.